I knew the creature needed something special this season. So we're bringing him to a wax museum. People find it unnerving. I find it familiar. Where he's interacting with those things like him that are almost live, but not quite. We find the creature outside of the waxworks. He sees a job offer. What's the job? I'm instituting a new bit of gimmickry. Pat Nee's Waxworks employs the creature to create the new chamber of horrors to get new customers. And we find out later on that Pat Nee's got something else up his sleeve. This way. So there's three sections to the museum itself. We have our main gallery. The characters in the main gallery are all important historical figures relevant to Victorian times. Boom. Some of the wax figures are actually extras sitting very still in costume. We have the grotesqueries, which is a sort of underground world that has many things frightening and scary and disturbing. We find the five skeletons smoking and drinking, and we have the witch and the devil who come to Cain and Abel, and we have plague victims in the background. And then we have another section which is Oscar Putney recreating crime scenes that have taken place throughout London. And it's quite frightening. It became a big overall department goal to try to come up with all of these figures. Some we actually made here. I'm Kate Hill, I'm a sculptor for Penny Dreadful. We have really tight deadlines, because it's a TV show. Sometimes you're sculpting and you think, ah, am I gonna get it finished in time? We start off getting as much reference as you can and you work with measurements to make sure it looks right from different angles. When it's finished sculpting, it, it gets molded and then they fill the plaster mold with wax and then it's painted, we get towards the end and tighten everything up. That is a fair job. Well done. I find wax museums frightening, I find them disturbing, and I also find them absolutely beautiful. It's fantastic to be able to stare at a recreation of something that is so lifelike, it is a whisper away from being alive.